Hey guys, welcome back to The Powerhouse. My name is Anthony, and in this video, we're gonna talk about my four month update in living with the Span Smart Electric Panel, coupled with my Sun Power panels on the roof and the Tesla Power Walls behind us. We're gonna have the Span app on this side, as well as the Tesla app on the other side. So stick around and we'll dig into that now. All right guys, so here it is. I have both apps up. I have my Tesla app up showing my Powerwalls solar home consumption. And then over here, I have, let me go to the home screen here. I have my Span app up as well. So I'm gonna keep both of them up. And the reason I'm gonna keep both of them up right now is because I am going to shut the main breaker inside of the gateway for my home and run everything right now off power walls and solar. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I wanna show you one of the key features that the span panel does that helps the batteries last longer in blackout situations. So give me one second, let me go flip that main breaker. All right, so right now we are running off full batteries. You can see we're pulling 2,600 uh, watts from the batteries right now. The solar is gonna kick on uh, once it gets connected to the batteries, probably is gonna take uh, about five minutes to get the, um, the solar on. But one of the key features of the span panel in working and keeping the batteries last longer. You'll notice one thing right now. Look on the Span um, app right now. You'll see it has power outage. You have one day, 22 hours, nine minutes of backup right now. To extend your backup, prioritize the circuit. So that's on that screen. Now look at my Tesla app over here. You'll see grid outage. You have 13 hours remaining. Why is there a key difference between what the Tesla app is showing me and what my Span app is showing me? Why do I have almost two days of power backup with the Span, but only 13 hours with my Tesla Powerwall app? The reason being is because the gateway is powering all of my circuits in the home. There's no way for the Tesla Powerwall to shut off certain circuits. So what happens, and one of the key benefits of the span panel, is you're able to prioritize your circuits to make the batteries last longer in a blackout situation. I'm gonna link a video up here because I was away for two days when we had a blackout and I had to call my neighbor before I had the span panel to shut off some of those circuits. So I'll link that up above, but that's what's cool is when you're away or not home, you could shut circuits off from your phone to keep that battery lasting longer. So that's one of the cool features, you're able to load sheds. Now we will get rid of looking at the Tesla app. We'll push that to the side and we'll dive fully into the Span app so we could check it out. So we'll go here, we'll scroll down, scroll down what is using the most power right now in the house? And it gives you your top circuits. The pool pump outside, I have that running 24 seven right now. That's using 1000 watts and that's 50% of our usage right now. Basement lights, that's where we are, using 20%. Our side door heat pump, these are the Mitsubishi mini splits, that's using 16%. Our basement outlets, that's where we are right now as well. That's using 4%. Our living room, hallway, and bathroom lights, that's using 4%. It is so cool to go down to the granular level and see what circuits are using. Something that I like as well is, so let's go to my pool pump. Here it is. On the pool pump, I could look at, um, right now it's Tuesday. 
I could see that the pool pump, let me go down here, view history, week. The pool pump Monday and Tuesday used 40 kilowatt hours. So I'm able to see, okay, wow, I'm using um, 40 kilowatt hours over two days. How much money did that cost me in electricity? And that's something that you're not able to do with full home consumption. But when you get down to the circuit level, I'm able to say, okay, 40 kilowatt hours times what our cost of electricity is right now um, with our utility uh, times point 20 cents. So that cost me $8 to run my pool pump for two days and it used 40 kilowatt hours. Also, what am I able to do? I'm able to shut that pool pump off. How cool is that right now? We're off grid mode, I'm still using the pool pump. We're gonna shut this circuit down. For your safety, if you're doing any electrical work, turn off the breaker on the span panel. Totally get that. Reason they say that is you don't just wanna shut the breaker off from the app and do electrical work in the panel. If you're doing electrical work in the panel or on any outlet, shut the breaker off, test it. That's the way it should be done. Don't just use the app. This is more for just shutting circuits off. I understand right now that shirt circuit just got shut off and let's scroll back up to the top. Cool. So this is the next thing. Must have circuits are the ones that you need. Those are your crucial circuits that you need to keep on when you are in a blackout situation um, long term. Then you go, nice to have circuits. So these are the ones that once my battery hits 50%, it's gonna shed all of these circuits off to extend. That's how we're getting one day, 22 hours, because it's showing you have nine hours, one minute on your nice to have circuits, which are basement lights, drop lights in the kitchen, heat pump bedroom, heat pump basement, living room outlets, pool pump, all of these things. So with pretty much everything running in my house, I have nine hours in one minute, similar, pretty similar to what the Tesla app was showing because that's everything running. But what happens is when the battery hits 50%, I'm able to shut these off and then go to my must have circuits where I'm able to extend the time on the batteries. That's how we're able to go longer in blackout situations. So in my must have circuits, you could see dining room and bedroom lights, um, dishwasher, do I need that on there? No, absolutely not. But the reason I kept it in there is because it's, you control that. You're not gonna be turning that on in a blackout. Dryer, same thing. Entrance lights, fridge and kitchen outlets. Yeah, you definitely want the fridge on. Furnace, you want on. Garage lights, kept them on there because they barely use anything. Heat pump living room, kept that on there because our living room could heat pretty much the entire house. Microwave, oven, stove, well pump. So those are my must have circuits. Then you have your nice to have circuits and then you have your non-essential circuits. And what you could do is, for instance, the dishwasher, I wanna move that out of my must have circuits and into nice to have. I click on it and then it's in my nice to have circuits. And then if I wanna bring it back over, I click on it again, I understand and then it brings it over in my must have circuits. One of the main reasons I got the span panel was to go longer in blackout situations, especially as I, as I switched over everything to mini splits, electric heating, all of that, I'm using more energy than I was in the past, so I wanna be able to manage those loads. So if we go through the app, some other cool features, how much battery do you have, 100%, how you use your energy this week. I love this, appliances 50%, transportation. We have an electric vehicle now, 20%, 18% lighting and outlets, 5% leisure, 4% uh, heating and cooling, 4% unknown. How much carbon have you avoided this week? Pretty cool to see, to see that. How the grid got its energy this week. So it calculates with your utility company and shows you if you are getting electric from the grid, 
where is the utility getting its energy from? This is another feature that I love. I love the bottom where it shows the circuits. But when I get to this, so that's cool on the top, it shows your circuits in your span panel and it shows the ones that are off. So this one is not used blank. That's our pool pump we have off, so it kept those at the top. But if I wanna see the way the circuits look inside of my main service panel, I go to in panel. And this is how, when I open my the door of the span panel, this is how it looks. Heat pump, um, heat pump basement. If I go to the bottom, it shows my Tesla charger. That's the breaker that's charging uh, the car. So it's pretty cool the way it has. You can see where there's a two, a two pole breaker, where there's a single pole breaker. It's got everything uh, laid out. And then you could do by area in your home. So this is all of the circuits in my basement. This is everything on the first floor. And that's the end panel. Now this is your feed for your week. This is like your Facebook or your Instagram feed. It gives you what's going on in your home. This is like your, um, your news feed for your home. Look at this, pool pump turned off in the app at 335. Your home has lost power. You'll be notified when power is back online. I lost power this morning for two minutes. I saw it right on the app, it popped up. Your panel door open, your panel door closed, your panel door open. Your home is reconnected to the grid. Your home has lost power. Weekly solar generation, 576 kilowatt hours. Your weekly energy use, 626. It's just pretty sick to see a news feed for your home's energy usage. It's like, when are you that connected to your main service panel and all of the devices in your home? Just a really cool feature to have it. Do I use it a lot? Maybe I click on it once every two weeks, but when I do go on it, it's just cool to see it. So this has been my four month review of using the Span electric panel. My initial feedback on it, my thought process from living with it. I like it. I like having the ability to shut breakers off for my cell phone. One of the things that I learned a lot about my home was when I had no circuits labeled in this panel. So that was, here it is, the solar guy. I had nothing labeled in this panel because, you know, when we got this house, we were identified, like this house is wired weird. There's just rooms tied to other rooms, outlets on one switch from another. So what this thing did is help me identify what is connected to what. So the way I actually labeled in my feed when I go to um, my circuits. So how I labeled all of these circuits was I shut all of the breakers off. And what I did is when I wanted to use something, oh, here's my outlet in the basement. I want to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to flip it on from the app to find out which circuit this was. And that took me, I would say, two days until I figured out what everything was. There was one, there was one circuit left that I couldn't find that I didn't have turned on, that I didn't know what it was tied to. And I said, this one circuit is still off in the app, but everything is on in our house. I can't, couldn't figure out what that circuit uh, was tied to. Then I realized that circuit was tied to, I forgot if it was like the garage lights or the pool pump at the time, which we didn't have running, but it really helped me identify all the outlets in the house, what everything is tied to. Uh, and it was pretty cool to go through that process. Is this needed? No, it's, it's, it's not needed. But if I was doing a new construction, would I put in a span panel? Yeah, I would put in a span panel. Is this uh, essential if you're getting power walls? Do you need this? No, you, you don't need it. The gateway is giving you data and you could do this manually. You could see in your app, okay, wow, in my, in my Tesla app, I have 19 hours left let me shut some breakers off in the panel or shut uh, loads off in the house that I'm not using. This is, this is more of a leisure that gives you the ability to do it from the palm of your hand or if you're away uh, in an emergency situation. So 
Hopefully this video was helpful. If there was anything that I touched on this video or did not touch on in this video that you wanna see, please write in the comments below and I'll do another video on that. But thanks for watching and sticking around in this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing so. And if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. And for any future videos, please write in the comments below. Definitely always looking for, uh, for feedback from you guys. All right, signing out. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.